because it's affordable and awesome. Still doesn't have a great battery, but we'll get there. <laughs> we'll get there eventually. Is lithium? Lithium is no good. They have to get off lithium. Yeah, it's expensive. it's horrible for it's, the environment. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, it's terrible, and it's expensive. It's really bad. Yeah, and it's not as good. There's a new one. Starts with a G. I forget what it's called. Gerithium. Grithium. I don't know, but apparently it's way better. But it's really hard to make. So it's exciting. I'm excited. We are maybe getting off oil eventually someday. And then we don't have to have the fucking pipeline conversation anymore. <laughs> no. Yeah, no, I guess not. That would be great if one day they could just be like, we're building the pipeline. And we're just like, fuck you. We don't need it anymore. Peace. <laughs> we're okay with that. No, nope, it's fine. You can send that to China, too. That'd be great. <laughs> I would like. I look forward to that day. As much as I want the pipeline, I don't want oil. I think oil's shitty too. But we don't have a choice right now, so shut up. <laughs> What's the message for next year? Fucking smarten up. Or no, smarten the fuck up, wasn't it? Smarten. That's it. Smarten the smarten fuck the up. Fuck up. I like that. That's got a nice ring to it. Eric Gord. Smarten the fuck up. It's perfect. Oh. Just it's just perfect for us. I'm looking forward to next year already. <laughs> next year, next season, I don't remember what COVID is. I don't want to talk about it ever at all. People will be like, "What's COVID?" I'll be like, "I don't know what that is." Shut up. <laughs> don't ever talk about that again. <laughs> hey, do you want to talk about COVID? I have no idea what that is, so no. <laughs> is that some celebrity child name? Is that what that is? <laughs> Sounds. It would probably be. will be. Oh, I'll guarantee it. I'll, I'm surprised. I mean, it already, it actually already has happened once. One, I know one lady for sure has had a baby and named it COVID. Well, yeah. Congratulations. And <laughs> the, these babies are going to grow up and they're going to call themselves the quarantineagers. And it's going to be very annoying. <laughs> oh, man. We're the generation I just... quarantine. Fuck you. Dork. Have all these kids are gonna have zero social interactions at all? You thought they had none before because of fucking games and all that shit? No, nah, they got it's now at zero. Well, that all I can think is that's the point. That's the only point I can get from this. We're we're losing our personalities. We've lost our yeah. faces, so we lose a lot of our emotion, a lot of our individuality. Yep. Um, a lot of what makes us us is being concealed. Yep. And, and we're being told to stay away from each other. We're we're just going to become uh, estranged from each other. And and then we won't care about each other much. I think must well, be I, the point. We just, we'll just stop caring about each other. And then pe when the purge happens, we won't give a shit. Yeah. No, it, it makes sense. I mean, like, any theory is as good as the next when it comes to what the fuck they're trying to like, – what is the reason for this? Like, every time when I point out the flaws with what goes on with this COVID thing, I always go, so what is this, some giant conspiracy? I'm like, look, man, I don't know what the whole backspin is. I really don't. But it doesn't – what the backspin in really doesn't matter. No, it The important matter. thing that you need to focus on is, is you're being lied to and you don't care. Yep. You are allowing people to lose their jobs, lose their lives, lose their livelihood, become completely estranged, turn on each other. You're allowing all this to happen when the truth is right in front of you. The facts are there. You can get the facts. It's easy to find them. Maybe that's why they took, uh, you know, challenging out of school and they took competitiveness away and they took the the – interest in pursuing knowledge away um you know the kids these days they don't give a fuck They'll, whatever google says or if it's on tiktok that's the news no yeah. one looks for the truth anymore maybe maybe we've been bred since if anything it's since we were kids because we're the first generation in history i've said it before we got gray hair and skateboards we were taught not to grow up 
yeah. and we didn't. And now our kids are all retarded. And now it's the perfect time to unleash anything on the planet because our kids couldn't figure it out anyway. And everybody, everybody's defenseless. Nobody knows what to do. No. Nope. So because they scared. don't know how to learn. And they go, we have to yeah. just trust the government. Mm-hmm. They know what's best. Since when we need it... to give, give the government more control. That's when, what people are asking for right now. When in Canada have we ever done this? We've we've shoot down our prime minister from the day after we elect him till the day we elect the new one. And then we start shooting down that one. We don't ever trust the government. No. We don't trust anything they say ever. Why would why this? Why are you all falling for this? Last year we thought Justin Trudeau couldn't tie his own fucking shoes. Now he's got uh, he's got the answer to save the world. Fuck off. It makes no sense. Wake it's up, fucking. St- it's <sighs> get woke. Start. I don't care if you listen to me, but stop listening to them. They're they're not they're not good for you. <laughs> you nope. need to understand that they, they are not good been. for you. No. Government is never there for you. Anyway, Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> You're Lock all going to die. Yeah, do not it. from COVID. Well, I'm um, not going to. Did you, you know hear why? Because. Why? Because. Oh, it's not going to work now, you bastard. Because. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> that's, that's, that's there it is. <laughs> um, so there's a bit of a public outcry going on in Iraq right now. Have you heard about this? I, I have not. I just assume there's always a public outcry in Iraq. Well, <laughs> um, the uh, 2021 uh, draft budget got leaked. Um. Uh, to the people um and it literally confirms the government's intention to devalue the iraqi din- uh what's it called the the, the di- dinar dinar i think it is dinar donair uh, yeah. they they're money is donairs <laughs> <laughs> well they're going to devalue that they're going to slash benefits from public workers um they're going to cut salaries um basically they're just going to Completely devalue the entire country and say, yeah, no, nothing's going to be worth anything anymore. Seems like a great uh, idea. It's a genius idea. Uh, so people are starting to really freak the fuck out. Um, <laughs> so it's, I, just, it's just, yeah. I, I don't understand economies, um, but I don't get the point of that. I know they're not the first to do it. Um mm. I don't understand how that benefits you. I know China did it at one time, too. I guess it, like, cuts down your debt or something? I don't know. Well, basically, yeah, it, it, it just it just cuts out your overhead. Yeah. That's, That's really what it comes down to. So, yeah, it's fucking dumb. That's great. Go, so that's going on. Yeah. Like, you know... Yeah. One, I'm sick of their happy-go-lucky ways in Iraq. They need something to be upset about, goddammit. Yeah, they're way too happy over there. Always. So that's good. <laughs> good thing we freed them so their government could come in and just <laughs> fuck them over completely. Uh, uh, oh, man. Um, there's, um, uh, this happened I, I, at a yesterday day before a couple sure. of days ago coming a couple of days ago now um a cargo ship uh called the uh, yeah of zing hong uh it was transporting 7800 tons of clay from and it hit uh rough seas and sunk uh and there's a whole bunch of chinese and vietnamese sailors that were all missing when it happened um it was i haven't caught the clay? update on it yet you cut out a it's little carrying bit. carrying clay. Why? Yeah. Yeah, it's carrying, yeah. Why? I don't know, 7,800 tons of clay. Why would you be carrying that? What possible purpose could that have? I don't know. Maybe Hong Kong doesn't have a huge amount of clay, and they need it for pots. I have no idea. Why do you need 
7,800 tons of pots. That's too many pots. <laughs> <laughs> sell it to Americans? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's yeah, I, probably I, the only thing I can think of. <laughs> what are you doing with all these pots? <laughs> <laughs> are you burying your dead in clay pots now? Is that the COVID thing? Yeah, I, I don't, don't know. know. Like, that I mean, sucks. that's just. I thought that was strange too. I thought maybe it's just a mistype in the in the top, but turns out no, that's actually what's going on. It wasn't clay pots. It was just pot. No. That makes more sense. Just no. It's just, just, just yeah. If it was pot, that would make sense. Seven hundred tons of pot. That would make sense. Like counterfeit play doh. I don't. Know. That would be awesome. <laughs> they just single handedly brought down the play doh black market. Weird. Well, that sucks. <laughs> I, I wouldn't want to be on eh? that ship. <laughs> Because you're, if you're Chinese sailors or Asian sailors on that ship, nobody's coming looking for you. Yeah. That, yeah, exactly. That search effort is already concluded. And if you're, you're, you're all dead. <laughs> Even if you're hearing me right now, you, you've been declared dead. They're not coming to find you. <laughs> you know what's really weird? I'm just trying to get like an update on it. And the funny thing is, oh, here we go. Two dead, two missing so far. Uh, but they had 15 sailors missing five days ago. So I guess they found a bunch. Uh, and there's still two dead and two missing. And the two dead died of so COVID. Oh, absolutely. Of course they did. What a stupid fucking question. Of course they did. did, did they the fuck else would they the, die for? The ship sank? Nope. COVID. Nope. COVID. <laughs> COVID got them. They you were on fucking a plane new? They You're crashed. fucking retarded? Plane full of COVID. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think sunk the ship? Fire. You think it just hit a fucking rock? No, it hit COVID. <laughs> It hit COVID he hit COVID on fire, and that just inflamed it up. Made it worse. The ship sank in the Bermuda COVID angle. <laughs> Bermuda triangle? COVID <laughs> angle. COVID. It was COVID. <laughs> I hate it. Oh, the fuck is hell? Well, that sucks. Sorry, there anyone who was looking for their shipment of clay. It's not coming. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not getting your clay, so you got to make aluminum pots instead of. Do you think maybe it was clay ones, apparently Clay Aiken? He was going to make a 7,800 ton clay statue of clay. <laughs> I don't think I'd be overly surprised. No. He seems arrogant enough to do that. He does. He's weird. <laughs> the most famous guy who never won uh, anything. He lost American Idol. He lost to Ruben Stoddard, if memory yep. serves me. And I get that right. Fuck and me, Ruben didn't. Uh, don't hear much. He about did nothing. Him. No. But Clay. No, he won the show and disappeared. And Clay somehow ended up getting, being able to uh, do the um, uh, moder uh, the. Uh, what he, he was a moderator for the fucking one of the Trump fucking yeah. Trump Biden things, which was well, just retarded. It's because he is super gay and and wacky. And Ruben Stuttered was a serious musician who wanted to do serious stuff. That's not entertaining. No one wants that. Everyone wants no, surprise. Look at me. <laughs> it's true. It's I'm sad, but it's true. Acceptable gay. Because there's acceptable gay and then there's real gay. There's like Will and Grace gay yeah. that's acceptable. And then there's real gay that we don't want to talk about. No. Can't discuss that. That's, no. that, that's off the table. Um, so uh, for those of you who have been lucky enough to have clear skies, there's a pretty cool sight in the, star, in the skies to the last few nights. Um, you can actually see Jupiter and Saturn together, and if you have a good enough telescope, you can see the moons. Ooh. Well done. And the 